how many of you feel that you feel unwell at times in the office do you look physically fit and fine or sometimes you notice some unusual behavior among your colleagues which is not normal when you are working with them for 3 to 4 years and suddenly there is a change in their behavior like even if you just talk to them they just flare up then you wonder what happened innocent remark and this kind of an outburst this was not expected what happened when you see people at the workplace displaying this kind of behavior what do you do take a moment and just think of the times if you have experienced something like this in your workplace hey you are listening to dream 100 business show podcast with savita husamani we are dream 100 business show or on a mission to help business owners to move to the next level in their personal and business journey by helping them to make smarter decisions in this show we decode what goes on in the minds of successful business owners during challenging times and how they converted their dreams into profitable products or services in this episode we are going to recognize 10 common signs of being mentally unwell at the workplace so let me share an experience of mine when i was in a workshop session for a team a person in the team walked up to me and said that he feels distressed when things are not happening on time and he keeps talking to himself he is unable to convey that to his colleagues and uh, it causes a lot of irritation within himself and because of this he sits in a place or he keeps walking around and he, he continuously keeps murmuring things to himself looking at this behavior his colleagues also get equally irritated with him so it was a clear sign that this person is stressed and all he needs is some kind of intervention so that if situations are eased at both the ends then things can start flowing smoothly and this was exactly what we discussed in the workshop and then things slowly began to ease out when both the parties started understanding the reasons behind this kind of behavior now let's take a look at few other signs at the workplace it is essential to recognize such signs in ourselves or in others at the workplace it is important to note that being aware of this signs is important so that we can promote a supportive and a compassionate working environment it does not mean that we are diagnosing someone but we are being empathetic and understanding so that they come out of that situation in situations which are adverse professional help is required so here are 10 common signs of being mentally unwell at the workplace the first sign is that when people with whom you are working for quite some time you notice that there is a change in the behavior it can be like suddenly they have become uh, irritable or there are mood swings or sometimes you notice that a few people become suddenly withdrawn and they don't even want to make casual conversation they become unusually quiet or sometimes like as i said in the previous case they become unusually talkative they start murmuring to themselves and uh, keep talking to themselves so which is not the usual kind of behavior which they had displayed all these days so when there is a change in behavior understand that there is something which is not going right the second uh, sign is that when people are undergoing some kind of uh, stress within themselves 
then there will be a sudden decline in the way they are performing. You can start noticing that they will be missing deadlines or number of mistakes which is happening at work starts increasing. Suddenly they become very forgetful of things which has already been told two to three times. In spite of repeatedly telling if the, there is some mistake which is being committed, then it is a sign that there is some kind of underlying mental health struggle which is going on within them. Now let's look at the third reason, increased absenteeism. If you go to work all prepared that we are going to meet the deadlines and you keep receiving calls from your one or two of your colleagues who are very crucial for the project and they say that I'm not keeping well. And they had just taken leave some two days ago or a week ago. You can't explain why this sudden absence and you can't explain why the sudden increase in sick leaves when there are a number of sick leaves which is happening, that means it is a sign of mental health struggle. Now, let's look at the next sign, emotional outbursts. Sometimes people start behaving in a very unreasonable way. Even for small things, they scream and shout or uncontrolled crying or anger which seem to come out of proportion even for small things when they are pointed out. So that means that there is something happening. Now let's look at the next symptom. When you notice that either you start getting frequent headaches, stomach aches or fatigue, when there is you start experiencing frequent headaches, stomach aches or fatigue, in spite of all your medical reports being normal, then what does that indicate? It indicates that there is some struggle within and because of this, mental health is getting upset and you are feeling unwell or you might start noticing these kind of symptoms in your colleagues as well. Another very important uh, uh, sign to notice is that when people do not, when people stop taking care of their personal grooming or self-care, then it is a sure sign that they are mentally distressed. The next sign is that when people have difficulty in concentrating and they are struggling even on simple tasks like being forgetful or experiencing reduced attention to detail. There are some crucial things, especially for people in accounting or one who is handling emails, to see to it that the mails are always answered on time. If once they forget, it is okay. But if it is a continuous affair where uh, the responses and the follow-up messages are not happening, then there is definitely something which needs to be addressed. One more sign is that when there is a change in eating habits, suddenly people start losing weight or you will notice that there is a significant increase in weight gain. This also can be one of the reasons of mental struggle within themselves. Another symptom is that when few people work excessively for long hours and they are unable to detach themselves from the work, maybe they are using work alcoholic behavior as a coping mechanism for their underlying mental health issues. So, Look out for these symptoms either within yourself or among your colleagues. And sometimes the next sign is that uh, you notice that people suddenly start uh, expressing a feeling of hopelessness or helplessness uh, and they start saying that 
uh, I'm not worth it or uh, there's no point in doing this. Nothing comes out of this. If it is done on a continuous basis, it is a sign to be watched out for that there is something which is not right. And it is crucial to remember that the presence of these signs does not mean that someone is experiencing something very severe. All the signs can just be a response to the stress which they are undergoing either in their personal lives or other factors. So if you notice any of these changes in yourself or in a colleague, see to it that you approach the situation with empathy and concern. Either talk to somebody whom you can trust or encourage your colleagues to talk about their feelings and you can be their uh, shoulder to which they can lean on and share their issues. And once you find that you are not able to solve this problem, then it is always good to ask them to seek professional help or employee assistance programs. If it is being run in your organization, then you can always seek help without the fear of being judged. Providing mental health resources, workshops and trainings for your team members can play a significant role in supporting the overall well-being of your workplace. So whoever you are, if you notice signs either with yourself or with your colleagues, see to it that necessary steps are taken and it is handled with care and concern so as to build a happy and a healthy work environment. Thank you so much for listening. And also do care to share this episode with any of your SME friends and we will always be waiting to hear your learnings. (laughs) 